Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter three is Magic Date. Okay, so the date June 10th, 1960 is special because when it is written in the following format, the month times day equals the year, like this. But when, it, when it's written in the following format, the month times the day is equal to the year. So six times 10, it's equal to 60. So when that is the case, then the date is magic. So design a program that asks the user to enter a month in numeric form, a day, and a two-digit year. The program should then de determine whether the month times the day equals a year. If so, it should display a message saying the date is magic. Otherwise, it should display a message saying the date is not magic. So basically, you are going. So so basically, when you have a date in this form and the month times the day, okay, I think that's how they've. They, they have this format so month okay month times a day is equal to year okay i think i think it's it's month first and day day second okay so if it's written in this format and month okay six times ten is equal to sixty then that date is magic if not then that date is not magic okay so we're going to ask the user to enter the month the day and the year we're going to check to see if the month times the day is equals is equal to the year Let's see. So let's start with the first thing the program is asking us to do. So design a program that asks the user to enter a month in numeric form, a day, and a two-digit year. So let's let's start by doing that. So we we ask the user with the input function, and we are going to say we use the input function to ask the user and say, please enter a month. Okay, enter a month. And so this is going to ask the user a question. Now, it's going to also allow the user to type in, put the call in here in the space. It's going to also ask, uh, allow the user to type in the month. But when the user types in the month, whatever the user types here, okay, using the input function, is going to be returned as a, as a string. Even if the user enters a, a number, this input function is going to return it as a string. So. We don't want a string. We want a number so we can use it in calculations. We can't really use strings in calculations. We can't multiply a string, you know, by uh, by another number. I mean, you can in different forms. When we when you get to the list in um, in in Python, in different ways, I think you can. But generally, you, based on what I'm saying, we haven't gotten to list yet. That list yet. That all that's all the way in chapter seven. But based on what I'm saying here, you. And actually, what, what I'm talking about is not actually multiplying strings. It's basically duplicating something, okay? But generally, you can't multiply a string with a, with a number, okay? So, um, whatever is returned with this, from this input function is a string, even if the user enters a number. So, we have to convert that string that is returned from this function to a number so that we can use it in calculations. So, in this case, we want to convert this input that is a types okay which is going to be returned as a string into an integer and the way we do that is we can we call the int function and we surround everything that the user has typed with parentheses so basically we are converting everything that the user has typed here using the input function into an integer and when we do that we need a place to start so I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it user month and I'm going to set it equal to what the user has typed for month converted to an integer because everything that the input function returns is a string. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for day and year because the program says enter the month in numeric form a day and a two digit year. So I'm going to print this and I'm going to say please enter a day, a numeric day. Okay, but they'll know it's numeric, so I'm going to, I'm going to say please enter a day. Change the variable to use a day. And the last one is going to be <coughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, the last one is going to be a two a two digit year. So please enter a two digit here, and that's going to be stored in user year. Oops, user year. Okay. So by the time this is done, we will have everything stored here. We have user month, user day, and user year stored in variables. So the program is asking us to see if the month times a day is equal to the year okay so I'm going to in that case if that's the case if it's if it's really the case if, if the month times a day is equal to the year 
we should go ahead and print the, the date is magic. If not, we can we should go ahead and print the date is not magic. So let's create an if statement and say if the user month because the program is saying okay. <coughs> The program should 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 then determine whether the month times the day equals a year. So if the user month times the user day is equal to, I'm using double equals to compare, compare to see if what's on the left is equal to what's on the right. If I use one equal, I'm assigning what's on the right to what's on the left. I'm using double equals to just compare to see if what's on the left is equal to the right. So I'm saying if user month times user day is equal to user year colon, then let's go ahead and print that the date actually okay the date is magic but you know what we actually have the month the day and the year we have it in variables so why not use it why not tell the user hey the date that you entered the date january for you know we have the variables let's do, let's go ahead and use it in, in the program to make it even look nicer so let's let's go ahead and, and do that. It's probably going to look um, more uh, or um, added, you know, like we've added more stuff to it. But yeah, it's fine. <coughs> let's do it and make the program look nice. So we can say this. We can say the date. Okay, the date. I'm going to close the string here and space it out and say I'm going to concatenate it with some variables. Okay, and say the date. Um, so month, uh, is it month times day? So I think it's month, day, and year. So let's start with a month. The date to use a month, okay, concatenated to, uh, concatenated with a, with a slash. Okay, let's just print it this way. Concatenated with user, user day, concatenated with a slash, oops, a slash. Now, before I continue, okay, before it gets messy and before anyone gets confused, if we try to con concatenate a, an integer to a string, Java is, oh, sorry, not Java, I'm sorry. <laughs> Python is going to complain that it cannot convert an integer. Uh, I mean, sorry, it cannot, yeah, it cannot convert an integer to a string and concatenate them. It cannot concatenate an integer to a string, it, it needs to first convert it to a string. And it will, it will complain that it cannot do that implicitly, meaning it cannot do it by itself. So it means we have to do that explicitly, um, explicitly ourselves, okay, ourselves. It has, to do, it has to do that in an explicit way, okay, meaning ourselves. So I'm going to convert this value stored in user month to a string by just calling the str function, which stands for string and it's going to convert everything that I've surrounded in parentheses, or surrounded with parentheses to a string, and then now it's going to go ahead and con concatenate the string with the string, because now this string str function is returning the value of this, or the contents of this user month, concatenated to the string. I'm going to do the same thing for this, and I'll surround it here. Okay, now, <coughs> Now I've set the date, okay, user month slash, user day slash. Now I want to con concatenate it with the user year, but I'm going to con convert it to a string. User year. Now I don't want to exceed this line here because I want to try to restrict 80 characters in a line. I don't want to type more than 80 characters in a line. And this line here is like a guideline for me. It's like a Python thing to keep 80, 80 characters in a line, okay? <coughs> so I'm trying to f um, flow or do do the same thing, or do, uh, fo follow that. So I'm going to break this line from here to the next line. Before you break any line to the next line, you have to type in the backslash like this, and then hit enter and break it. All right, so I've broken it, I can go ahead and continue now. So I've typed in the date, concatenated to the, the month slash the, the day slash the year, okay? Now go ahead and continue my string. It's magic. Okay. And yeah. So now I'll print that. Oh, and again, I wasn't supposed to end this with a semicolon. I was I'm thinking I'm, I'm programming in Java. That's why I'm doing that. I'm sorry. I don't have to terminate it. So no semicolons. Alright, so if that's the case, if really 
the user month times the user day is equal to the user year. Then we print the date is magic, and we, we actually print in it. We actually print in the, the date itself. All right. Now, if that's not the case, else. Okay, so if this is the case, then do that. Else, meaning if that's not the case, then let's go ahead and print this same statement. But this time we're going to say that that date is not magic. Okay, we're going to say the date, user month, time, uh, slash user day, slash user year is not magic. And we're done. And we're done. So now let's debug this and see what happens. So I'm going to save this in the folder where I keep all the, all the files. It's on the desktop. I'll create a new folder and I'll call it magic date. And then I'll save this as magic date to part. Okay, so it's running. Okay, so it's running. Please enter a month. I'm going to I'm going to try to first try this. Six. Okay, so month I'm going to enter six. The day I'm going to enter ten. And in a year I'm going to enter six 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 zero. Okay, sixty. I'm going to hit enter and it says the date six ten sixty is magic. Okay. Now I want a space now it's working. This is this is nice. I want to put the space between the inputs and then the output. I mean the the input questions, okay. The questions asking for input and then the output. So I'll be so right after what right after I'm done asking for input, I want to go ahead and call a print function. Now the print function by default, okay, if I type in something like this, after it prints out this, it's going to end it with a new line. Okay. So if I call the print function without typing anything in there, it's going to print nothing, but it's still going to end it with a new line. Okay, it's still going to print a new line as well. Okay, so this print function is just going to print a new line with nothing, nothing in it. So it's basically going to create a, an empty line, print an, a line with a line. It's going to print nothing and then move the cursor to the next line. Okay, so I'm going to run this and try it again. So please enter a month. I'm going to try the same thing. Six. Um, 10, 60, and it's and now we have a line here, so it looks nice. So the the date six ten sixty is magic. Let's try six ten sixty one. Because six times ten is not equal to sixty one, it should say the date is not magic, right? So I'm going to say six ten sixty one and hit enter, and now it says the date six ten sixty one is not magic because six times ten is not equal to sixty one. It's, it's equal to sixty. And that's why 61060 is magic and 61061 is not magic. So this program works. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time with the next program. Bye-bye.